Hi, my name is Matt Hernandez, and today we'll be doing dramatic sports portraits inside with constant lighting. Okay, so we're at McCracken County High School in Paducah, Kentucky. We're in the football locker room. We've got our football player, Franklin. And the first thing that I've noticed in here is that it's really dark. There's black lockers. It's going to be hard to get texture out of those. We're going to be using two different Solix LED constant lights. We've got one as our main light with a strip bank on it with a grid. And then behind me here, we've got another one with a red gel with barn doors. It's going to be our rim light. We're also going to have a haze machine going that's going to fill the air with some texture. That way we can get a little bit more drama because if we just shoot this with nothing else going on, it's like I said, it's going to be hard to get texture out of the lockers because black absorbs heat. So that the haze machine is going to just put a little bit of atmosphere in here. This rim light especially is going to really catch that. And the hope is, is, is that the gel, that red gel, which is the school colors, is going to pick that up from behind him and add some depth to it. Okay, so in this second setup, we're still in the locker room. We're still using Solix LED lights, constant lights. We have a third light this time, so I'm gonna explain what we're doing with that and the other two lights, because it's not exactly the same as the first one. The, the main light over here to my right, again, has a gridded uh, strip bank on it. That's gonna act as our main light. And so that's gonna light his face. We're gonna have him sitting in this locker, angled straight this way. He's gonna be, he's gonna have his arms on his legs, as you'll see. Um, like he's preparing for a game, looking down. So that's going to be the main light lighting the front of his body and his face. And then we have a gelled light in the back, again, not going to really act as a rim light this time, but more going to pick up atmosphere from that haze machine, the, the haze that we're putting in the air. And we've got that red gel still on it for his school colors. And then the third light is going to be behind him in this locker. We've got it just hung on one of the hooks in the corner here. And it's got barn doors to focus the light. That's going to be our rim light for this one, just to add a little bit more depth and cut him out from the background. So the main light also is going to not only light him, but it's gonna hit, we have it turned vertical instead of horizontal. So what that's gonna do is allow the light to spill on the lockers. We have it pointed at him, angled back a little bit. So that's gonna pick up some of the texture from the black lockers. And then the red gelled light in the background not only is gonna pick up the haze, but it's also gonna put a little bit of texture on the lockers too, where it, it's gonna reflect off the sides right here. So as you guys can see, we got two totally different looks in the same confined space. And that's why the cell looks were perfect for this because they're so portable and they're battery powered. There are only a couple outlets in here, but even if there had been none, I'm in locker rooms all the time that don't have any power, then you, that would be no problem at all. Another thing I like about these lights is that they're very adaptable and I can put any kind of modifier I want. I can put strip banks, barn doors, or whatever I want. Let us know which image you like the best in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.